Welcome to the lounge. My name is Silver Adel, and today I want to talk about neutrality and what the value of it is for a country like mine, Austria. This is a debate which is hotly discussed every now and again, and especially now that there is war in Ukraine. But what is the role of neutral nations? But let us first talk about what neutrality actually means and what the value of it is, because it is often overlooked in European media, especially in Germany. Germans don't quite seem to get what it really means to be neutral. One great thing about neutrality is that it is a really good safe mechanism against ill-advised emotional reactions. This is why it is great against blind ideology. You want to build an authoritarian empire? Well, you first have to admit that you need and want to get rid of neutrality. This is at least a step you have to, you, you have to take and is a barrier. If a group of people gains political weight quickly. <coughs> 1933. <coughs> they cannot do stupid things like start a war in a moment's notice. The barrier of neutrality is quite huge. Trying to remove it immediately leads to months or even years of discussions and exchange of pro and cons arguments. That makes it quite a good safety net. I admit that neutrality alone and having been neutral cannot prevent an absolute catastrophe. But it is absolutely a nice to have. As an Austrian, or more specifically as an Austrian man, I experience our neutrality as a being a huge part of my personal freedom. It is highly unlikely, and I know this is a point of contention and differing opinions, I think that our, and like the Austrian neutrality, plays a major part in the probability of me not going to war and probably dying there. And not dying with a weapon in my, in, in my hand is quite high up in my list of priorities. But why is Austria even neutral? Well, 1955, small history lesson here, but it's not that, not, not that, not that serious. 1955, Austrian parliament declared that Austria would have eternal neutrality. An argument that is often repeated, and I even hear in Austria quite a, quite, a, quite a lot of times, is that Austria only hides behind their neutrality and in secret uh, is picking a side in different conflicts and, and that, that we hide and, and that we let other nations down by being neutral and not helping them and, and taking a clear side and a clear stance. Well, let me tell you, this is rubbish. Because it's not an Austrian idea to become neutral at all. You see, after, after Second World War, Austria was split into four parts. A French part, the British part, the American part and the Soviet part. And there, was, there were some ideas, but it never really got through, that they should actually split up Austria. That wasn't an intention. So they, the four of them sat together and decided, let's, let, let's, put, let's let Austria stay together and they should become neutral. So the Allied forces made us neutral. Not an Austrian decision at all. And why? Why even this idea? Well, Austria messed up big time, two times in a row, and so this was some form of punishment. So, TLDR, the Allied forces didn't want to deal with crazy Austrians ever again, so they forced us to become neutral. And Austria um, happily agreed with that, because this was one of the main points of contention and one of the main reasons that Austria didn't have to pay reparations like huge monetary, monetary fines that would like hinder and, and almost destroy Austrian's economy for, for decades. Would that have gone through? So did the Allied forces leave us a chance to decide? Not really. Um, was it to our advantage? From my perspective, it was. So once again, getting rid 
of this neutrality would mean taking a huge part of freedom away from me. And I feel like many people feel alike. Of course, after the two world wars, Austria is only a shadow of its former self. We, we lost, we, we gambled and we lost. And the fact that we now are a geopolitical dwarf makes a lot of dangerous people, quite, quite few of butthurt people out there, who can't get over them, that, that we're not important anymore, that Austria doesn't count on a geopolitical scale anymore. And those people get mixed together with militarists and ideologists and they come up with this idea of getting rid of neutrality and, and joining NATO and stuff like that that is, is and further ideas. Austria had their chance and they took their chance to make an impact on the whole history of Europe. And they messed up big time. We messed up big time. And the punishment is that we will be of no significance ever again. It is the way it is, it is what it is. And it's, it's better that way. No more Austrian Empire ever again. Sometimes when it comes to neutrality, the definition seems to be an issue as well. So just in case you are interested, neutrality mostly regards military matters. A neutral nation, however, is allowed to have economic and diplomatic connections to conflicting parties and nations. This is the official definition of the, of the Aust Austrian government. Are there different opinions and definitions of neutrality? Of course there are. Neutrality doesn't only mean getting sucked into a war or not. It regards a lot of different matters. And this leads to a discussion that every nation that is neutral of some sort has to have every now and again. It's a normal process. To rethink about are we really happy with our neutrality and should always get to the conclusion, yes we are. It's the same discussion in Switzerland or Sweden or all those other countries that are officially neutral. Ireland as well. Now let's get to the gist of it. Is supporting the Ukraine against Russia against neutrality? Now this is hard because you can support in, in different ways. I would advise every one of us to think this through. Where would you draw the line personally? I'll give you my example. I would say sending humanitarian help is always fine. And there's the question, should we send humanitarian help to both sides? Well, we should at least try to offer it, but it's highly questionable if Russia would even accept such form of help, or if this is logistically even possible. On the other hand, sending military equipment, I would be strictly against. Even if it's helmets or, or um, vests or anything like that, it, it has something to do with military. There are, there are other nations for that, not a neutral country. That's where I would draw my line. Sending military equipment, not okay. This is something I, I would believe many people could agree with, like sending humanitarian help, okay, military equipment, not so okay. What makes this question really hard, even for myself, and I don't know the perfect solution to that, is the sanctions. Is supporting the sanctions against Russia... Like, do we have a conflict here with our neutrality? This is really hard. This is really hard. What has to be taken into consideration as well is that Austria probably doesn't even have a... really a, say, a saying here. Because if it's a... The, the pressure on Austria, in case they were, we were the only ones against the sanctions, the pressure would be insurmountably high by other European nations. So do we actually have a choice? Of course, you could say you always have a choice, but it's tough. It is really, really tough. But this has led to Russia not seeing Austria as a place for, or as a partner where, or a state, a nation like Vienna, for example, to talk about peace. Austria isn't seen as such a country anymore. Not as neutral. That's one of the consequences. 
Joining the NATO, however, is a way easier question for me, because I'm strictly against it. Not only because it is against our um, neutrality, but also, what do we have to offer? Like, is, uh, is the NATO waiting for Austrian forces and, and the might of the Austrian army and budget to really bring the NATO in? Come, come on, guys. Like, <laughs> what? we have no business at all being there. Not at all. We're not that important. I've said a lot of times, right, until this point, <laughs> this is not our place. It isn't. Being neutral does not mean that you do not have an opinion or that you don't care. Like, I, I don't mind, I don't mind what ha what's happening in the world because I'm neutral, I don't care. This is not the case. You can always have an opinion and, having, and, and, and stand up for it, especially in a diplomatic manner. We are always able to stand up and point out, point fingers at crimes and atrocities that are taking place in the world. Things that are against the human rights agenda or our national core values. But Austria needs to remain a neutral nation. Eternal neutrality. Thanks so much for watching. If you like my style of videos and how I present stuff, you can let me know by clicking the like button down below. And if you have the same opinion or a completely different opinion on this topic, you can let me know in the comments. My name is Tobor Adele, and I will see you again next time here in my lounge.